Welcome to Precision Cornea Center. This video will discuss the tergium excision and conjunctival autograph procedure. We will review how to prepare for your procedure, what to expect on the day of, and instructions to follow postoperatively. Let's begin with how to prepare for your pterygium procedure. In addition to the explanation provided by your doctor at your consult visit, you will have received an information package on the pterygium procedure. Pterygium is a benign, wedge-shaped growth of conjunctival tissue over part of the cornea. It can cause various symptoms, including redness and inflammation, eye irritation, foreign body sensation or burning, or blurry vision. Several risk factors can contribute to the development of pterygium, including prolonged exposure to UV light, dry climates, exposure to wind and dust, or family history. Your surgeon may tell you that pterygium excision is indicated if the above symptoms are significant or if the goal is to regularize the corneal surface in preparation for cataract surgery. Although this is considered a minor procedure, some risks include infection, prolonged inflammation or poor healing, or pterygium recurrence. Here is what you need to bring to Precision Cornea Center your Ontario health card or other insurance coverage information, and an updated list of all of your medications. Please leave all of your valuables at home. A responsible adult must accompany you and drive you home from our center on the day of your procedure. If you are under 18 years of age, a parent or legal guardian must accompany you. Please be aware that you will need to come in for a follow-up visit one day after your procedure. If you become ill or for any other reason are unable to keep your appointment for your procedure, please call our office the day before at 613-746-2244. Now let's talk about what to expect on the day of your pterygium excision and conjunctival autograph procedure. Precision Cornea Center is located at 1730 St. Laurent Boulevard in Ottawa. Patient parking is available in front of our building in designated spots noted by the indicated signs. We are located on the main floor of the building. When you enter the clinic, you will need to present your Ontario Health Card or other insurance coverage information at the front desk. You will be greeted by our lovely front desk staff who will notify a member of the team that you have arrived. We will ask you a few questions to verify your medical information. You will be asked to sign a consent form confirming the procedure and the eye to be operated on. These multiple checks are done intentionally to ensure the quality and safety of your procedure. Just before your procedure, you will meet with your eye surgeon and the operating team, which may include a resident or a fellow working with your surgeon, given their affiliation with the Ottawa Hospital. The team will review your medical information once more. This procedure is performed without sedation. You will be laying flat on a bed in the minor procedure room and will be awake throughout. Local anesthetic agents will be administered directly to your eye to provide a numbing effect in order to ensure minimal discomfort. A typical pterygium procedure takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Topical drops will be used to numb and sterilize the ocular surface. Your eyelids will then be cleaned and held open for the duration of the procedure with a device called a speculum. Your surgeon will direct you in terms of which direction to look at various points during the procedure. The following animation will help demonstrate the steps of the procedure. The pterygium is identified and marked and further local anesthesia is administered in the area. Both the conjunctival and corneal aspects of the pterygium are manually removed from the surface of the eye using specialized ophthalmic surgery instruments. An area of healthy conjunctiva is then identified, typically from the upper part of the same eye. A graft is created using this tissue and is glued to the site from which the pterygium was removed, covering the exposed sclera, or the white of the eye. The site from which the graft is taken heals within approximately one week. In certain scenarios, your physician may use an alternative type of tissue to close the defect and will discuss this with you beforehand. A faint haze may remain within the cornea after surgery due to the presence of the original pterygium, however, this is usually visually insignificant. To help with healing of the corneal surface, a bandage contact lens will be placed on your eye. This is typically removed by your physician after one week. 
After the procedure is complete, your eye will be patched to protect it and promote adherence of the graft. Your surgeon will provide you with specific instructions on when and how to remove the patch. It is crucial to follow their guidance to ensure proper recovery. A responsible adult must accompany you and drive you home from our center. There is usually mild discomfort several hours after the procedure. It is common to feel scratchiness and aching. You can apply cool compresses gently over your patch or use oral medications for pain management as advised by your doctor. You may resume your other regular medications as soon as you get home. You will need to see your surgeon again for follow-up visits one day and one week after your procedure. They will then direct you as to the frequency of further follow-ups, typically at one month and three months. You will start your post-operative eye drops after patch removal for a total duration of three months. A drop schedule will be provided to help you follow the prescribed regimen. After the procedure, you may experience blurry vision, redness, and light sensitivity for several weeks. The eye will take approximately 8 to 12 weeks to fully heal. The duration of healing varies from person to person and even from one eye to the other. Post-operative precautions. It is important that you do not touch or rub your eye with your fingers. Please use your eye drops as instructed by your surgeon. Rest your eye often and lubricate periodically with artificial tears. Avoid exposure to dust, dirt, water, or makeup for two weeks after your procedure or as otherwise advised by your surgeon. In terms of activities, you can resume most of your usual daily activities such as reading and watching TV as the comfort of your eye permits. Your surgeon will let you know when it is safe for you to resume driving. Please feel free to ask your surgeon any other questions you may have at the follow-up appointment. In the weeks after your procedure, it is very important to call the office promptly if you have severe eye pain, worsening redness, or a sudden drop in vision. If you experience any post-operative problems and are unable to reach the office, please go to the emergency department at the Ottawa Hospital or at a hospital near you. Alternatively, you can email postop at precisioncornea.com and provide us with an explanation of the issues you're experiencing. If you live outside of Ottawa, please visit the nearest health centre. Please note that removal of the pterygium does not directly correlate with an improvement in vision, but rather serves to regularize your corneal curvature. Your vision may need to be further optimized with a new glasses prescription or cataract surgery if deemed necessary by your surgeon. If your surgeon is planning to perform cataract surgery, they will need good quality measurements of your eye for surgical planning. This is done no sooner than three months following your pterygium procedure to allow adequate time for healing. If you would like to review the information presented here again, this video can be found on the Precision Cornea Center website under the Patient Resources tab. And that's everything you need to know about your pterygium procedure journey.